Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 21st of September 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked today to remember Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Matthew appears in the list of the 12 Apostles of Jesus and according to the Gospel written under his name, was a tax collector. Mark and Luke called the tax collector Levi, and it has been assumed that they are one and the same. This occupation was despised by his fellow Jews as a betrayal to the occupying Roman force, but Christ showed that judging by outward appearance was not what he was about. He ate with Matthew and with his friends, scandalising those around him. Matthew followed at his call, and this was enough for Jesus for he had drawn someone back to God. He was forgiven, therefore he was acceptable, therefore he was received. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 31 In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of a net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence. From those who slander them, you keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make 
your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our short scripture reading this evening is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle this evening is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Gracious Lord, we come to you this evening with the memories of all that has taken place today, all the meetings that we have had, all the people we have met, all the information that we have heard from across the world in this age of rapid communication. Our hearts are filled with foreboding for some of those of our international brothers and sisters who are living under oppression or war or pestilence or flood. And we pray now in the silence of our hearts, all those are far off and all those close to our hearts, known to you that they may receive both your grace and your peace and be safe this long night. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, our collect. O oh, almighty God, whose blessed son called Matthew the tax collector to be an apostle and evangelist, give us grace to forsake the selfish pursuit of gain and the possessive love of riches, that we may follow in the way of your son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. 
As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer and complaint. My colleagues will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for another service of benefits night prayer, uh, morning prayer, my apologies. And they will be with you at six o'clock for a further service of night prayer. Stay safe and know that your God and my God loves us all. Bye for now.